In the annals of history, 1967 stands as a pivotal year marked by cultural shifts and global tensions. Yet behind the scenes, a different kind of intrigue was unfolding. A recently declassified letter addressed to then Secretary of Defense Robert McNamara has emerged from the shadows, offering a glimpse into a world of unexplained aerial phenomena. This letter, dated July 1967, arrived with three classified attachments, each detailing aspects of the government's growing fascination with unidentified flying objects, UFOs. The existence of this letter, long rumored among UFO enthusiasts, was confirmed in 2023 through a Freedom of Information Act request. Its contents have sent ripples through the scientific community and ignited the public's imagination. The letter's author, whose name remains redacted, was a high-ranking official within the Department of Defense, suggesting that the information contained within was of paramount importance. This correspondence serves as a stark reminder that the government's interest in UFOs extends far beyond mere curiosity. Attachment one of the McNamara letter reads like a chronicle of the unexplained documenting a wave of UFO sightings that swept across the United States in the 1950s and 1960s. From the deserts of New Mexico to the bustling cities of the Midwest, these reports paint a picture of widespread public concern and official intrigue. One of the most compelling accounts detailed within Attachment 1 is the infamous Roswell incident of 1947. While the official explanation pointed to a crashed weather balloon, eyewitness accounts tell a different story. Locals described finding strange metallic debris scattered across the desert, fueling speculation of a downed extraterrestrial craft. The letter acknowledges the public outcry following the Roswell incident and the government's subsequent efforts to downplay the event. Further solidifying the seriousness of these sightings are the numerous reports from trained military personnel. Attachment 2 delves into the heart of the UFO mystery, detailing encounters where these unidentified objects interacted with military aircraft. These incidents, often occurring in restricted airspace, raise serious concerns about national security and the potential for a technological gap between the United States and unknown entities. One of the most chilling encounters described in Attachment 2 occurred in 1957 over the Gulf of Mexico. A squadron of B-47 bombers en route from Louisiana to Morocco reported being followed by a large glowing object. The object, displaying incredible speed and maneuverability, paced the aircraft for several minutes before disappearing into the night sky. This event, witnessed by multiple experienced pilots, could not be explained away as weather phenomena or misidentified aircraft. Equally perplexing, was the 1964 encounter near Socorro, New Mexico, involving state police officer Lonnie Zamora. Attachment 3 provides a glimpse into the scientific community's struggle to grapple with the UFO phenomenon. The letter references the work of prominent astronomers and physicists who were brought in to offer their expertise on these unexplained events. One such figure was Dr. J. Allen Hynek an astronomer who initially dismissed the UFO phenomenon as mass hysteria. However, after reviewing countless reports and interviewing witnesses, Dr. Hynek's stance shifted dramatically. He became a vocal proponent for serious scientific investigation into UFOs, arguing that the evidence simply could not be ignored. Another key figure mentioned in Attachment 3 is Dr. James MacDonald, an atmospheric physicist known for his rigorous scientific methods. Dr. MacDonald conducted extensive research into UFO sightings, collecting data and interviewing witnesses across the globe. His findings, often at odds with the government's official stance, led him to believe that a significant percentage of UFO reports could not be explained by conventional means. A Legacy of Mystery the declassification of the 1967 McNamara letter has reignited a debate that has smouldered for decades. What do we make of the UFO phenomenon? Is there evidence to suggest that we are not alone in the universe? The letter, with its detailed accounts, provides no easy answers. It serves as a potent reminder that the unknown still holds sway over our skies. 
The legacy of Roswell and other sightings continues to fascinate and perplex us. The McNamara letter offers a unique window into a time when reality seemed to blur. It is a testament to the enduring power of the unknown. The public's right to know. The revelation of the 1967 McNamara letter has sparked a renewed call for government transparency regarding UFOs. For years, researchers and the public alike have suspected that authorities possess more information on this subject than they have been willing to share. This letter, with its clear evidence of high-level government interest in investigation, seems to confirm these suspicions. Many argue that the public has a right to know the full extent of what the government has learned about UFOs over the decades. After all, these phenomena, whatever their origin, have the potential to impact us all. Furthermore, the potential national security implications of UFOs, as highlighted in the letter's attachments, underscore the need for open and honest dialogue. Ignoring or downplaying this issue is no longer an option. The time has come for a paradigm shift in how we approach the UFO phenomenon. We must move beyond the realm of speculation and conspiracy and into the realm of evidence-based inquiry. A new era of UFO research. The declassification of the 1967 McNamara letter has the potential to usher in a new era of UFO research, one characterized by scientific rigor and open collaboration. The letter's detailed accounts and expert analyses provide a valuable starting point for further investigation. By revisiting historical cases with fresh eyes and utilizing modern scientific tools, we may be able to shed new light on these enigmatic events. Furthermore, the letter's emphasis on the potential national security implications of UFOs could lead to increased funding and resources for research in this area. This, in turn, could attract brilliant minds from various scientific disciplines, fostering a collaborative approach to unravelling the mysteries of the universe. Imagine a future where astrophysicists, atmospheric scientists and engineers work together, sharing data and expertise to determine the nature of these unexplained aerial phenomena. The possibilities for scientific discovery are immense. Government Transparency and Accountability the 1967 McNamara letter serves as a potent reminder of the importance of government transparency and accountability. When information, particularly on matters of potential global significance, is withheld from the public, it breeds distrust and suspicion. The revelations contained within this letter have the potential to erode public trust in government institutions, particularly those tasked with national security. To rebuild this trust, it is essential that governments around the world adopt a more open and transparent approach to the UFO phenomenon. This includes declassifying historical documents, funding legitimate scientific research, and engaging in open dialogue with the public. Only through transparency and accountability can we hope to foster an environment of trust and understanding, allowing us to confront the unknown together. Always looking up. The search for answers continues. The declassification of the 1967 McNamara letter is not the end of the UFO story. It is merely the beginning of a new chapter. The letter's contents have raised more questions than answers, reminding us that our universe is filled with mysteries that have yet to be solved. The search for answers requires a multifaceted approach one that combines scientific rigor, government transparency and public engagement. We must encourage open dialogue among scientists, policymakers and the public, fostering an environment of collaboration and shared discovery. The universe is vast and full of wonders, and the UFO phenomenon, whatever its explanation, compels us to expand our understanding of the cosmos and our place within it. A universe of possibilities. The 1967 McNamara letter, with its tales of unexplained aerial phenomena, reminds us that we live in a universe of possibilities. It challenges us to confront the unknown and embrace scientific inquiry. While the letter provides no definitive answers, it offers a glimpse into a world beyond our understanding. As we delve deeper into the cosmos, we must remain open to the possibility that we are not alone. 
The universe is vast and ancient, and it is probable that other forms of intelligent life exist out there. The quest to understand UFOs is ultimately a quest to understand ourselves and the nature of reality. It is a journey that demands courage, curiosity, and a commitment to seeking the truth. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to show us you appreciate what we've created. Click the thumbs up to get our latest videos.